Make it special. Make it Maloney. This segment of the Port Jeff Pulse is brought to you by Holistic Body for You. Health Coaching by Karen Sullivan. Tuesday at Danford's. You know what time it is. Whoop, 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 whoop. It's real estate spotlight time. Yay. Hi, guys. Good Lisa morning. Lisa Bear's in the house. Good morning, Good morning. Lisa. Good morning. I'm going to give your own little music in the background. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Sing something? What do you, no, 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 not that. I'm going to have bow, like a... Bow, chicka, wow, wow, bow, chicka, wow, wow. Not that happy yeah, this morning. That's totally me. No, no, something professional. What do you What do you like? Ooh, what do I like? Yeah, like ambient music yeah. or... Yeah. Drink. I can't have a copyright, little, but what type little of... smooth jazz. Yeah. Little... I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do Absolutely. it. Absolutely. That I'll do sounds it. good. All right. Fantastic. What pearls of wisdom do you have for us today? <laughs> you know, today I thought we'd talk about um, renting versus home purchasing, oh, which I think is huge. becoming more and more important um, as the real estate market is taking some different trends heading into 2017. There's always been a question of whether or not the stock market, for instance, is a better investment than real estate or any of the other you know, ways to invest. And the reality is the best investment is always going to be real estate. It's mm-hmm. going to keep its value. And there's tons of information on you know, proving that that's the case. Over and I the think, long term, specifically. Right. And, and I think that one of the things that is a given is if you own a home, you're constantly building your net worth versus a renter who is not building their their net worth. As you spend money on your mortgage, you're adding to your net worth. Okay. As you a renter, you're adding to your landlord's net worth as far as, you know, paying down their mortgage and the the prop that what their house is going Mm -hmm. to be worth at a given time. The, it, the homeowner's net worth is predicted to be t- 45 times that of a renter by mid-2017, up from 36% in 2013. And how they, they, they're taking the value of the home, of course, and putting that towards your net worth, what, what equity you have in that home. And sure. so those are really large numbers. Um, I think in 2013, the average net worth worth of a homeowner was $164,000 and a renter was $5,600. So there's a huge difference there. And I think as the Americans are regaining their faith in the economy, which they are, the indexes are showing that people have a lot more confidence in the, in the economy. Um, homeownership is a forced savings. Uh, you know, I think mm-hmm. sometimes, right. you, you know, you don't even realize that it's a forced savings program. Um, Every time you pay your mortgage, you're adding to that value. You're adding to the decreasing of the mortgage balance, and you're you're, you're you know adding to your to your net worth. Um, and obviously, home values are increasing as your mortgage value de- as your mortgage balance decreases. Two caveats. One is really <clears throat> obvious. One is it would be, I think, uh, location dependent. Because I don't think we could say this would be true in Detroit, for example. This is true. They, you know, a lot of the national numbers that I quote, of course, are very regional um, metropolitan areas. It, it, it actually, in metropolitan areas, could be even more beneficial to purchase than to rent because some of the metropolitan areas, the rent prices are extraordinarily high. But you're right. In Detroit, certain areas, absolutely. Right. I'm just out but of... But Long Island has pretty much always worked out. Absolutely. As an owner. I agree with that. Yeah. And and to be honest, Kevin, what's, why not protect yourself from rent increases and lock yourself into a home How about ownership, the tax write-off? Right. And a, and a mortgage that you could save for the life of your mortgage, have lock in to a certain price. Some of the low... Some, I've been reading like World Street Journal, Bloomberg Report... Um, the CSNBC, listen to some of these titles of recent articles and renters get ready to take it on the chin. Rent crisis about to get worse. Renters will continue to struggle for decades. High rents are here to stay. And the last five years, a typical rent rose 15% while that renter's income only rose 11%. Wow. Maybe so, less. Yeah. That's yeah. a lot. So there are, you know... In, and again, because the last few times I've been here, we've talked about the interest rates are still low, even though they're predicting. Mm-hmm. Even, Where have they gone since you last met? They're here? about. They're still around four point two now. For, I mean, they're predicting to stay under five for all of twenty seventeen. Okay. Um, 
That's good. And and however, as we've talked about before, the home prices are going up, which is you know so now is a really good time to buy Mm -hmm. and we talked about the millennials like people think they can't buy but but they're wrong i mean there's so many people who think i need you know this much money down and this credit and there's they're they're surprised when they go and find out they can purchase Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. right you know the other caveat besides location i think is uh has nothing to do with the market it has to do with um what I want to say, almost like buying habits or personality uh, in in money matters. Yeah. I'm probably one of those guys because when I own, I want – sometimes I, I think I've made the mistake in over-improving something. You know what I mean? Right. And it could be something as simple right. as finishing your basement and – you can finish your basement or you can finish your basement. Right. And sometimes those things don't come back to you. But I really don't think that has anything to do with the market. I think if you own something, you can over-improve and that could bite you sometimes. I agree. Whereas yeah. if you rented, you're not likely, if at all, to improve because you can't. You're not allowed mm-hmm. to. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing I would say. So the caveat would be really personality dependent, I think. Right. And having a little restraint in your capital improvement. Yeah. In other words, if you came up with an extra thirty grand. I think you would recommend put the thirty grand into decreasing the loan on the house. I would absolutely. So, to build your so well, yeah. some people, as you know, use oh, the house totally as an ATM. Right. Yeah. They put the thirty and they put thirty more on that, and they do their backyard right. Because, right. because they say to themselves, "This is going to be my vacation." Exactly. Until they get bored in their backyard and they still take vacation. Yeah. So it, and, and it could be dangerous. <coughs> One of the other interesting things which which's happening now is um, kind of ties into this uh, are upgrades. So I had an open house at my house on Parvis in Miller Place, which is about a $600,000 house. It's 3,000 square feet, almost an acre, Miller Place school districts, you know, big, beautiful, high ceilings. So a family came in that are living now in Sound Beach that are, you know, very happy. They have a nice three-bedroom home. In talking, he said, we're looking to upgrade. And people upgrade to either a better size, looking for a better location or a neighborhood, um, more room. And he said, but we're thinking of renting the current house and not selling it if we can. Mm. And I said to him, that is a smart idea. Yeah. Can, because sure. of what we're yeah. talking about. In fact, I'm meeting with them this afternoon at one o'clock because he wants me to tell him what I think his rent roll could be. And the house he's in happens to be a house that could be turned into a, easily into a mother daughter, oh. which increases the rent roll because wow. he can do two separate entities for rent. I mean, <clears throat> You right now in this area, one bedroom apartment, sixteen hundred dollars. No way. Yeah, I. I, mean, I didn't realize that. Once you get to two or three bedroom homes, you're in the twenty five, twenty six hundred dollar. And if you're just, he, you know, they told me they own that house outright, and he's only looking to cover his taxes. I mean, anything over. That's a no brainer. Yeah, it's a no brainer. Oh to yeah, keep he it. definitely yeah. needs to do that so, for sure. <clears throat> Where's that house? In Sound Beach. Okay. Yeah, and actually, um, you know, I'm going there today, so it'll be interesting for me to see. But they're looking, you know, to upgrade, but still knowing in their head that the rental market for them to keep that house. And it's I have a lot of people looking for investment properties to rent, and they're using their dollars for that instead of putting them into the market. And, and you know, Sound Beach is a gem. A gem. There's I, a lot of great properties in <clears throat> Sound. I, I mean, I own a rental property in Sound Beach, and... My taxes are very low, yeah. and and it's a great it's a great place to I, invest. Any new buyers i have young buyers i had i met with a new couple a referral yesterday in my office and they're looking for school district which you know oh, i can't yeah. really discuss school district right. but i was telling them sound beach i've just this past year you know i had a, a decent year as a buyer's agent mm-hmm. and i probably sold four or five houses in sound beach two three four of them under three hundred thousand that are mint yep really and bold, super nice and bold school districts yeah. are good because yes, you're either Rocky in the Pointer rocky point or, or miller place yeah. so and, yeah. and especially the professors and the residents coming in from yep. stony brook i got a phone mm. call yesterday somebody was asking me about one of my rentals and i said to her if you know the area you really should think about purchasing as opposed to renting because you'll pay more in rent than you will if you had a mortgage. And I, I told you about the family that last couple of week, weeks ago that closed, and Margo made that comment. Margo Garant, the attorney, said you're, oh, pay right, less, right. When you're, you're paying guys, less yeah. on your mortgage than you did on your rent. So It's mm, fantastic. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you feel that you have wanted to own and you're not quite sure, call me, and I will help you. I will get you to a lender who can let you know. There's lots of programs out there, and you don't need... 
20% down. A lot of buyers now are buying with less than 5% down. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Excellent. That's awesome. What, how, do we, how does the inventory look? We're not at spring yet. We're in January. I know that. We are. I have to You're be honest with you. You're dying for inventory. I know. I am dying. In Port Jefferson, we're down now. We were at 60 units oh, like a month ago. Last we checked, it was 45. 45? We're probably, what, at 50 or something 37. like that? 37. No way. Yep. I went online today. So I am just in Port Jeff. That's Port Jeff because that's one of the things, you know, yeah. I, we, my, that's the zip my, code 11777. That's correct. Okay. My office uh, <coughs> at Jolie Powell Realty, we, we do quite a bit in, in the market share. I think we're, again, maybe number one in residential units this, this past year. And, um, wow, 37. So, and and so right now, there's only your, your 37. Me- so your message to, to our listeners is, it, look, if you're thinking of, you know, retiring, going out of Florida, but. Get on the market now. Absolutely. You got buyers Absolutely. lined up. Yeah, there's um there are so many buyers lined up. They are ready to roll. So yeah, I'm hoping that that inventory normally after the new year toward the spring. I, Absolutely. A lot of people saying, Oh, I'm gonna wait till March. In fact, somebody made the comment to me at the other open house the other day. They another couple were talking about purchasing, but they have to sell. And I said, we're going to wait for the spring, they said. And I looked at her and I said, let me just ask you this. They're working with another agent, but I was just trying to be helpful. I said, you're going to wait till everybody else is putting their house on the market. All you so needed you to say. All this other competition. All, all you needed to say was, would you do me a favor, go to the Port Jeff Pulse webpage and look at my episode number 17 talk? Because we did address we that. We did, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I should be now. able to do that now. Honestly. Yeah. yeah but this- but I said, I said you're, whoever's telling you that, is giving you bad information, unfortunately, because you really don't want to be out there when sixty yeah, other when homes. The pack, when the pack exactly. is out there, yeah. uh, you know. Yeah. So right now, it's it's a great time to put your house on the market to buy a house. So let's let's uh, also, as we always do, let's uh, let's um, get some listings up on the screen and back yep. of us. I have two listings from our office. Yep. Um, I think a great house. Beautiful Pilgrim Drive in Port Jefferson. Mm-hmm. It's uh, priced at five fifty nine. The taxes are under ten thousand, including the village taxes. Again, that's why Port Jeff is such a gem. It's a beautiful house, four bedrooms, and then we have a house on Waterview Drive, which I'd mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Um, gorgeous, and that is uh, twenty two Waterview Drive, and the list price there is nine fifty nine. But it's gorgeous. I mean, it's it's up in Harbor Hills, and it's it's you know it's it's beautiful. It's got water view and so and, the, and of two. course Parvis as well. The Parvis. So my Parvis. Although it could is, it could be coming to a sale it's, soon. Yeah, it's Miller Place. I'm well. I'm hoping it was a decent open house and uh, mm-hmm. and I'm heading out to my my listing in uh, Kachog yep. this weekend. Uh, that was a little slow during the winter time, but you know people are starting now to think about their summers and and the house is is you know a beautiful house. So yeah. Check out my website, perryproperties.org, and you can see what else is going on. Absolutely. Thank you, Lisa. Fantastic. Thank you for checking in with Thank us. You. Thanks Falls. so much. Look forward to Yay. next time. Thank Bye. you. Thanks.